Since therefore the unity of the deity is confessed by almost all, even against their will, when they come to treat of the first principles of the universe, and we in our turn likewise assert that he who arranged this universe is God, why is it that they can say and write with impunity what they please concerning the deity, but that against us a law lies in force? though we are able to demonstrate what we apprehend and justly believe, namely, that there is one God, with proofs and reasons accordant with truth, for poets and philosophers, as to other subjects so also to this, have applied themselves in the way of conjecture, moved by reason of their affinity with the afflatus from God, each one by his own soul, to try whether he could find out and apprehend the truth but they have not been found competent fully to apprehend it, because they thought fit to learn, not from God concerning God, but each one from himself. Hence they came each to his own conclusion respecting God and matter and forms and the world. But we have for witnesses of the things we apprehend and believe, prophets, men who have pronounced concerning God and the things of God, guided by the Spirit of God, and you too will admit, excelling all others as you do in intelligence and in piety towards the true God, that it would be irrational for us to cease to believe in the Spirit from God, who moved the mouths of the prophets like musical instruments, and to give heed to mere human opinions.